Hello everybody, well today we are going to be checking out a really cool event that happens at least once a year, if not more. Say hello to the opening and closing of the Market Street Bridge. We're going to see this go up and down a few times. Well, we're going to take a look at the little cog and gears that turn this bridge and make it go up and down. It's amazing that that small little gear attached to everything else makes the bridge go up and down. And here we have the break for the bridge. Now this is on the south section of the bridge and it's electrically driven. It's not hydraulically driven. So anyway, you can see that the brake is there and you've got all of the gears and the wheels off to the left. You can see one that is not engaged. So that kind of is an extra safety margin with the wheel being out and not engaged. The bridge can't accidentally go up or down on it. But it's amazing that for all of the things, this is really not a lot of gears and a lot of uh, mechanicals to be able to move this bridge. Just blows my mind. A lot of the action is done because the counterweights are built in. And then there's the electric motor that drives the whole thing, or at least on the south side of it. I don't think we'll be able to focus on that. It's amazing to just see those wooden boards up there hiding everything. Of course, they're probably there to catch some of the grease and stuff so it doesn't get on the cars. But it hides everything. Otherwise, it would just be hanging out in open space. And there's the pivot point for the bridge. It literally just rolls over that steel beam. And those notches go right over that. And so when you look at the bottom part of the bridge right here itself, it really doesn't move a tremendous amount. But of course, it's a different story at the other end. The other ends move a significant amount more. And here's a view that you really never get to see 
walking across the bridge and not having any traffic whatsoever. Of course, all of you Chattanoogans might remember, you drive across this and it definitely creates a certain tone. It's got uh, two lower pitch on either side of this and then the higher pitched where the deck grading is that creates the open space. So I know a lot of people are thinking about that particular noise in their head. And then there is the joint in the middle with the teeth where the bridge would separate. We're going to get to see that here in a little bit. And uh, it's definitely getting a little out of skew, but for right now, it creates the joint. And then there's the big pieces of the joint where the bridge comes apart. And you can see some gentlemen up there greasing the point right there that slots into the next section of the bridge so that the bridge's support is intact. It carries the load. And uh, they've got to make sure to keep that greased up very well because that is a huge friction point. Not that there aren't other friction points, but that's a very important one. And then you can see it's been raised just a little bit so that they can cl clear the gap and see what needs to get worked on. All of this is part of the inspections that have to be done on this bridge on a regular basis because sometimes it does have to be opened. City or somebody else? Well, they have to pause it here so that they can lubricate those giant posts where things interlock together. And once they get that done, they're going to do a few tweaks to it and they're going to lower it again. It's really impressive to see this much steel and construction just kind of dangling in the air while it's being worked on. Makes you feel really small. Whoa.
Quite a weird angle looking at the old Jotty Bridge. It's interesting what seeing something that you've seen before but at a different perspective. This is definitely an interesting perspective. Now the bouncing you see isn't necessarily this side or that side. You've got to remember there are two motors and they're operating independently of one another. And while they are synced pretty close, it looks very sharp, but it's a matter of perspective. It's not necessarily that these are jumping up and down this extreme. We're moving and the other side is moving, so it makes things a little odd. Of course, if they really were flinging around that crazy, I think it would be a little terrifying to be on the bridge when they're jumping up and down. But for right now, they're just going to get the bridge back together and get it clicked in, and we'll see what else that we can see.
pigeon, that is not a good spot for you to be, buddy. Shoo. Come on. Let's get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Lift and come on. Better, way better.